our friends. We're so glad you're with us. What are we drawing today? A baby deer. Yeah, we're gonna draw a really cute baby deer. You excited? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker and some paper. If we ever go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. Yeah. <laughs> you can always pause. pause the video. <laughs> All right, Hallie, we're first gonna start by drawing our baby deer's eyes. And it's gonna be super cute. We're gonna draw two round circles. Well, circles are round, aren't they? <laughs> we're gonna draw them right here. We're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw them pretty big. And I'm draw, also drawing them on the left side so we have room for the body on the right side. Right here? Yeah, that's a good spot. And then I'm gonna draw another one right next to it. Just like that. Good job. Now, on the top right, we're gonna draw a smaller circle like we always do. And then we're gonna draw an even smaller circle down here in the bottom left. Okay, now you know what to do next, huh? Don't yeah. you? What are we doing? Coloring it in the eye. Yeah, we're gonna color in the big circle, we're gonna color in the eye, but we're gonna leave the two smaller circles white. All right, now we colored it in, and the reason why we left the, the white uh, circles is because that makes the eyes look shiny. And cuter. And cuter, yes. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the shape of our deer's head. We're gonna start right here, and we're gonna draw a U shape that comes down and then back up. So we're gonna start here, and we're gonna go down, and then back up. Yes. I love how cute your little deer it's head's gonna, gonna look. Little. Yeah, it's gonna be teeny. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the nose inside. So we're gonna draw a little, a little oval, and we can also color that in. Now we're gonna draw a J shape that comes down this way, and also a backwards J shape that comes down the other way. Yeah, puppy. Yeah, it looks like a puppy. Like a puppy. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw a circle around her mouth. So we're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw a circle that comes down, and I'm gonna touch the bottom, and then back up. Yeah. Good job. Now we're gonna draw our deer's ears, and they got really big ears. So we're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw a leaf shape that comes up. Deer's ears. A deer's ears, and then it comes back down, <laughs> like that. That's big ears. That's big ears, huh? Big deer ears. <laughs> big deer ears. It looks like the a shape of a leaf. It goes up, and leaves a point, and then come back down. Yes. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Up, and we want them to look about the same size, so we want to come up to the same height and come back down. I like that one, that one's pointy. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the top of our deer's head. We're gonna draw a big curve that goes over and back down and connects Aww. to the other side. It's a cute deer, huh? Yeah. Now we're gonna draw the inside of our ears. We're gonna draw a little bumpy line or a zigzag line right here at the bottom. And I'm gonna do it over here too on this one. I did three little zigzags. That's it, little fur inside the ear. So you can come back down on that one. Yeah, okay, now over here we're gonna draw a shape that comes up. It's gonna come up like this. It's gonna repeat the same shape as the outside and then back down and connect. Yeah, good job. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. Cute, I like it. <laughs> now we're also gonna draw a shape that goes around their eyes. So we're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw a big shape that comes down and then I'm gonna connect to her nose. Good, and then we're gonna come back around like this and connect on the top. Here? Yeah, good. And we'll do the same thing over here on this side. Come around, down, and connect to the nose, and then we'll come back around, connect to the nose again. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, good job. All right, <laughs> now we need to draw the body, right? Yes. So it's not a floating head. Okay, we're gonna start right here, right under the nose, and we're gonna draw her legs that come down like that. Then we're gonna draw another line right next to it that comes down, and see, I'm. <laughs> kind of closer up here at the top and further away at the bottom. So you can start right here and then come down to there. Okay. Yes. Now, down at the bottom, we're gonna connect with a U for her foot. Good job. Okay, now let's draw her belly. 
we're going to start up here and we're going to draw almost looks like the letter J. <laughs> so yeah, start right there on her chin and curve under. Good. And now let's draw our other leg so she looks 3D. We're going to draw another line that matches the first line we did. And then we're going to curve in just like the bottom. <laughs> That's an easy way to draw a yeah. second front leg and she looks 3D. Okay, now let's draw her body. We're gonna draw a short little line right here at the top of her leg. Then we're gonna draw her back leg and it's gonna have one curve first, just like that. Is it gonna be like the My Little Ponies? Yeah, it is kind of like the My Little Ponies. Yeah, My Little Ponies are horses and deer are a lot like horses. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna draw a line that comes forward. Now we're gonna draw the back of her body that's gonna come around and create the back of her leg. So we'll start here and we're gonna draw a big curve that comes around and it's gonna stop right here, right, at, right close to that bend in the line. So we'll start there, curve around and end right about there. Okay. Yeah. That's for a little, that's for a little bum. Okay, now we're gonna draw the back of her leg. <laughs> we're gonna draw a curve that comes out and then comes down, and we want this distance to be the same over here. So see how far you came over? Mm -hmm. And we will do about the same here, so draw a little bump and then down. Now at the very bottom, we're gonna connect the same way. We'll draw a U to connect the two lines for her foot. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now we're missing her belly. So we're gonna imagine her chest coming through behind her leg and then come in back under to create her little belly. He's so cute. Yeah, it's too cute, isn't it? <laughs> Good job. Okay, now she's missing her other leg. So we're gonna draw another line right here and then bend, come forward and then stop. So start there, do a little bend and then down. Good. Yeah, there you go. And then curve in to finish. Good job. All right, now we're missing her little hooves down at the bottom. So we're gonna draw little lines right here, a curve, and we'll draw a curve up here for the other one. And we'll cut, draw curves back here for her back legs. Okay, now we're gonna color in her feet. Okay, Helly, what is she missing? Her tail. Her tail, yeah. We're gonna draw a shape that looks a lot like her ears. We'll draw a curve that comes up and then a big curve that comes down like that. It's like Almost a looks bunny like the letter. Tail. Yes, it looks like a bunny. Oh, I like it. That's cute. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add one more line right here on the back. Now we we're missing one last thing. What is it? The white dots. Yeah, the white dots on the, her back. And it's just like how my little ponies have cutie marks, right? Yes. All right. Okay, so we're just going to draw little ovals right here on her back. So I'm gonna draw just a couple of them right here. You can even draw a bunch if you want. Sometimes they have a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, I drew a bunch. <laughs> Good job, that looks awesome. <laughs> All right, now we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color. Yeah, she's gonna look even better once we color her. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, but what can our friends do at the end? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can pause the video to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. You did such a great job on coloring your little deer. She turned out perfect. And I even love the little eyelashes you added. Rule number one. Always add eyelashes. Always add eyelashes. <laughs> now I also added some shading to the back legs to make them look even more 3D. And I added a little highlight on our feet to make them look shiny. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your deer. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your baby deers and coloring them, right? Mm -hmm. And it's okay that our deer look different, right? Yes. Because what's the most important thing? To have food. Yeah, to have fun food. and to practice. practice. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.